Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are Selenium web driver listeners? Let me answer. There are two types of listeners. Okay, when you are working with Selenium automation, okay, and coming to listeners, there are two variety of listeners that you generally use in real time. One is from SNG library, okay, SNG listeners. Other one is from Selenium web driver listeners, okay. Whatever the listeners may be, whatever the listeners may be, okay, what exactly they are, they listen to the events triggered by either TestNG or Selenium web driver, okay. Listeners are something that listen, as the name speaks, they listen, okay. So, this test engine will fire some events. Fire events like uh, the test is passed, test is failed, test is skipped, such kind of events test engine will fire. Okay. Similarly, Selenium web driver also will fire some events like uh, application URL got opened, element got found, okay, navigated to application page, element got clicked. Okay. So these are these are also firing events different type of events selenium web driver will fire different type of events okay or different type of activities it will fire like selenium web driver using that if you click that is an event okay click on an element is an event an event will be fired when selenium web driver clicks on an element similarly test engine also will fire an event like the test is passed test is skipped test started test ended like that okay those are the events fired by test engine so in this case uh, let's focus more on the selenium web driver way of uh, listeners firing of the events. So when these events are fired, okay, when this Selenium web driver fires some events like clicking, typing, navigating, whatever it is, there are some listeners which, which can listen to these events fired by web driver. Okay, why listeners have to listen to these events? If listeners can listen to these events, according to the appropriate events, we can perform appropriate actions, okay? Listeners are something like they are like kind of methods here. Okay, there are some methods will be there from predefined uh, interface and all. Okay, these methods will listen to these events and will be activated when such kind of events. For example, if a click event is fired, let's assume that Selenium web driver has a fired a click event. Then here, some methods will be there like before click on, before click on, after click on. Kind of methods will be there after click on after I click on and these methods will be activated when these events are fired. When this event is fired, these methods will be automatically called and you can perform some actions here. Inside these methods, you can customize, you can write your own code. Let's say you, you can write the code for collecting the logs, okay, printing the logs like, okay, the element got clicked, like that, okay, uh, navigate, uh, navigated to this page, like that you can write whatever the logs inside these methods and because these methods will be activated based on these events, okay? So Selenium web driver has a lot of events, a lot of type of events and accordingly there will be a lot of listener methods and to get this uh, listener methods and all, there is a predefined interface known as web driver event listener interface. So what is the interface here from which these methods like before click on are there? Web driver event listener. Web driver event listener interface. Okay. Will be there. And how this web driver will fire the events to this listeners or listener methods? For that, there is a predefined class known as to fire the events, uh, whatever the events fired by Selenium web driver to fire that events to this uh, web driver event listener thing, methods and all. There is a predefined class that we have to use known as event firing, event firing web driver class, event firing web driver class. Okay, it's a predefined class. It's a predefined interface. This is an interface. The interface is listener side, whereas this is events firing side. Okay, Selenium web driver will fire the events to make the Selenium web driver fire different events according to different actions like clicks and case and all. We have to use this class, event firing web driver class. And with this class, the events will be fired from Selenium web driver and they can be collected or listened by these listeners with the help of this web driver event listener predefined methods. Okay. So this is the thing. 
So even TestNG also has this kind of concept. We can use both and all. But in this uh, question, we have to answer what are Selenium web driver listeners. Okay. So let me practically demonstrate one example for you so that it will be clear for you. So before that, let's read this statement uh, just to conclude and all like what I covered just now in, in this uh, diagram and all this explanation. Using the Selenium web driver li uh, listeners, we can listen to the events triggered by Selenium web driver and perform necessary actions like collecting logs, etc. Okay. So let me practically demonstrate this statement for you. For that, I'll switch to the Eclipse ID. Here we have a main method. Here we generally write the Selenium code. Web driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Like this we'll write. For the most, import this web driver interface from Selenium. Import this Chrome driver. Plus also from Selenium. Now, now I'll say driver dot manage dot window dot max. I'll maximize the browser window. After opening the browser, I'm maximizing the browser window. After that, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm not going to use the same driver here going ahead because I'm going to implement this event firing web driver. Okay, I need to create an object for event uh, firing web driver class. Okay, uh, e driver I'll say. Otherwise, I'll say e driver or ef driver event firing web driver ef w driver and uh, i'll just create an object for this new like this put a semicolon to make this web driver fire the events we need to create an object for this event firing web driver class import this from selenium library and uh, uh, this one already got deprecated and we can add the driver here anyhow let's see Still, it is deprecated. Uh, so, it's already deprecated, guys. Okay. So, you don't have to even answer this question. But this was the thing, okay, earlier. Okay. Even firing web driver is deprecated. So, how to overcome this problem? Because it is got deprecated already. Okay. So, here I was mentioning uh, this event firing web driver. Which got deprecated. Okay. In the latest version of Selenium, event firing web driver is not there. So, what do we have to use here? Okay. What do we have to use here? So, for that, uh, we have a different thing. I'll tell you. So, before this, we'll do one thing, guys. Okay. We cannot use this one anymore because that got deprecated. But you understood the concept here, right? Earlier, event firing web driver class used to be there, which used to fire the events from Selenium web driver. And to the listener side, web driver event listener used to be there, which has some methods which used to be activated for each and every event fired by the Selenium web driver. That was the concept. But these things got deprecated. This event firing web driver class and web driver event listener interface got deprecated. And uh, we need to use something new. So, how to do that and all, I'll tell you. So, first of all, let's write only these two lines here in this uh, demo class where I'm writing the Selenium code. And apart from this, here I'm going to create one more class. I'm going to create one more class. You can give this any name. I'm just giving the name as listeners. Okay. Or my listeners also you can give if you want. Click on finish. And here we have to say implements. Implements. So here we have something known as web driver event listener. Instead, we have to use web driver listener only. Okay. Import this. This is the latest one. Earlier, we used to have this uh, listener interface as web driver event listener. Now it got uh, changed to this one got deprecated and it got changed to web driver listener in the latest version of Selenium. Okay. Now, this is a user defined class. You can give any name and that is implementing a predefined interface from Selenium known as web driver listener. So, its methods we can override. Okay. In this listeners class, we can override some methods of the web driver listener interface. So for that, I'll go to source and uh, I'll say override implement methods. And uh, you see, this particular interface has a lot of methods. I'll select everything just for the case and say, okay, all these methods will be overridden and added here. You see, all the methods from this, uh, lot of methods are there. You see, this many number of methods are there. Okay, this many number of methods are there in this web driver listeners. 
before any call, after any call, on error, before. Okay, these are listener methods. Before get. So if you want to navigate to something, uh, we can use. Okay, before navigating, you can trigger this method. I can show you this one example as an example. Remaining all, I am not going to do anything. Uh, I'll just remove all this code, guys. Okay, I'll just remove all this code. I'll make this uh, methods blank. Okay. I'll make this methods blank or I'll do one thing. I'll just remove everything. Okay. I'll remove everything. Why to have this many methods? This many uh, event listener methods are there that you can use and uh, they can be uh, activated when some appropriate events are fired from the Selenium web driver. Okay. Uh, this many methods are there in Selenium web driver listeners kind of stuff. I don't want to use everything. So what I will do here is I'll again go to the source. I have removed everything and I'll go to the source override implement methods. I'll say and I'll take only I'll pick only few things that are required. You see, after click, before click, I can use if I want. After get, I'll use after get, and also before get also somewhere. After get and before get. Where is before get? Yeah, before get. Only two things I'm using, but uh, many things are there. Even navigating also before navigating to after navigate like that many are there but I'm only overriding two methods here just for sample but you can use any number of methods from this web driver listener interface okay, okay. I'm overriding only two methods okay just for uh, demonstration purpose so here I'll write system dot out dot print and when this particular method is activated or invoked I'll write down uh, Before navigating, navigating to URL, which URL? Before navigating to URL, that is plus URL, I'll say. Okay, like this, I'll write. Here also, system.io.println. After navigating to URL. Now, why I'm writing this uh, statements? To prove that this methods got activated. Okay, this listener methods got activated when appropriate uh, Selenium web driver events have been fired from the demo class, okay? URL, okay? So now here I'll change it uh, instead of web driver event listener, the latest one is web driver listener interface, okay? So like that, okay? Earlier we have web driver event listener, now we have web driver listener interface. Now on the other side uh, here, once you create this, uh, some user defined uh, class, which is implementing this web driver listener. You can create an object for the listeners here. Okay. Listeners, listeners is equal to new listeners like this. Okay. Like C and ERS. P E and ERS. Okay. Done. Like this, you create an object. And after that, uh, you use this one that is event firing decorator. Okay. Earlier, we used to have this event firing web driver. Now, in place of this, we got event firing decorator, okay? Event firing decorator. This one we have to use, okay? Event firing web driver was there. Now it got uh, changed in latest version of Selenium with event firing decorator. How to use this event firing decorator? This line we have to write. So event firing decorator, and uh, in this you just provide this web driver as a generic thing, and here. In the constructor, you pass this particular listener. Okay. Let me do that. Event firing decorator. Here, pass the web driver. Event firing web driver. And I'll give some name here that is a decorator. I'll, I'll just name that as decorator. Decorator is equal to new. Again, the same thing. Event firing decorator. Here we have to provide a uh, kind of thing for the most and import this event firing decorator from Selenium, which is latest. Okay. It's not deprecated. Deprecated got replaced with event firing decorator. Here I cannot keep this constructor empty. Rather, I need to pass the listeners here. That's it. Okay. That part is done. What else we have to do? Now you can use uh, this decorator object reference and uh, call decorator method like this. Use this decorator object reference decorator dot. There's a method known as 
decorates and you have to pass this driver here okay original driver here and uh, this will give you an object reference of this decorator thing okay so that is a uh, you'll get like this web driver decorator this is the original web driver this is a decorator okay modified one that is web driver firing event firing one okay so i'll simply say what i can say here otherwise already their decorator is there decorated already decorated they are saying okay so i'll say i'll just give something like uh, uh decorated decorated driver i will say i'll just give a different name like decorated driver for the most page web driver will come here okay now using this you can perform the activities using this uh, you can perform the activities like uh, get command okay instead of uh, driver dot get and all you have to say you have to use decorated driver dot get dot get okay i'll use only this command i'll uh, open this url omai.blogspot.com copy this and paste it here after that i'll say decorated driver dot pitch driver dot pitch done now save this now run the code so we already have registered this listeners here okay listeners class is already registered by creating an object that object reference we have passed it to this event firing web driver is automatically registered here and now we created a new driver object with the help of this decorator and uh, firing these commands. So event firing decorator will fire these commands. Okay, it will for get command, it will fire an event and uh, for quit command, it will fire an event. But for this get command, when it fires an event in this listeners class, okay, which is implementing this web driver listener, we, we, we intentionally use only two methods before get and after get, they will be fired. Okay, and this uh, methods will be uh, catching those events fired by this particular get method here. Okay, events will be fired here and that events will be activating this methods in the listeners class and uh, this methods need to be, this methods need to print this things, okay, to see whether they are working fine or not. Okay, right, let's write it run as a Java application. Let's see what is the output. If you are getting those print statement printed in the output from the listeners class, then we are good. That it close the browser. You see, before navigating to URL, after navigating to URL. So we have successfully implemented the web tag driver listeners. Okay, earlier there were different uh, predefined class and predefined interface. Now they got changed to event firing decorator class web driver listener interface. Okay, so hope guys you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.